here we go, another day. It is Friday, the start of our weekend. Let's see how this first weekend of the new year, let's see how it treats us. What's going on, everyone? It is Greg here at Everything on Main in Jasper, Georgia. It is Friday, and I am here from 11 to 6, and I expect to see you here. Come on now. All right, here we go. This is our first uh, weekend of the new year, so uh, we'll see how well we do here. We're open, uh, this is the first weekend, of course, and I'm talking about it a lot because we just changed it up. Uh, we're open on weekends now from 11 to 6. We were 11 to 4, and then I stayed later, uh, which happened a number of times, and we just kept getting more customers uh, trying to come in a little bit later. So we kicked it up to 6 o'clock. We're very happy with that. So the weekends, 11 to 6, and then we are open on Thursday, and that's 11 to 4, so... Here we go. I'm looking forward to it. Come see me. <laughs> oh, a lunchbox. Got to make sure they're open. I'm already hungry. I've rearranged a lot of stuff. Got some of the toys, some of the cars that were back here I put up front because... Uh, now all, all my Star Wars stuff is here and then I am starting to bring, next week I'll start bringing in t-shirts and I'm gonna fill this whole area up with t-shirts. And like I said earlier, I'm gonna fill that rack up and just bring as many t-shirts as I can. So the other day, um, my nephew Cody and I were talking and he got to talking about um, me and my wrestling career. And uh, he started telling stories of things that he remembered. And I stopped him and I said, Cody, I said, hold on to these stories. Hold on to them because I've got some stories, too, that I want to tell. Um, and I've got two stories that have to do with him that were a highlight of my wrestling career, what it had to do with him. And you got to understand, his uncle was working with WCW and Turner Broadcasting during the time he was right at that age where wrestling was like amazing. So he was, uh, he was a part of that generation, um, with WCW and, uh, WWF and all that good stuff and ECW, even ECW. So anyway, uh, so I told him to hold off on those stories because, uh, I want to sit down with him and he and I exchange stories back and forth together. I think it'd be fun. Uh, to hear some of the things that he's told me things that I've forgotten and I know I'm gonna tell him a couple stories that he he doesn't remember so anyway stick around we'll do uh, we'll do a video with him and that'll be on my uncle G's uh, uh, YouTube not the the stores well since uh, I have been talking about the albums I have really packed the albums out and I'm ready to get them here uh, I've got one box that's already here uh, and I can fill up, I don't know, I can fill up 10 of those boxes with albums. I just don't want to bring them out again. You already know how I am. I want to wash them, make sure they're at least clean and they, they don't have visual big scratches on them. Cause if they do, I go ahead and throw those away or, or repurpose them for something. So Trish was here last weekend, uh, going through a bunch of stuff and she has, realized which is an awesome thing that she has sold enough clothing where she can start bringing some more stuff in so hopefully the next week or two we'll get even more clothing inventory and i think we've got some more shoes that are coming uh so it's always always something always something make sure you stop by pick up something we may have had a wreck right in front of the lunchbox <laughs> a lunchbox. Lunchbox is getting all the action. I got my um I got my sandwich today at the lunchbox. And uh when I went to pick it up, Jennifer said, You're she goes, Is she still working on it? And I was like, That's no big deal. She's like she's like she's putting like four together. Putting four turkey club sandwiches together, huh? You're welcome. Oh, 
here's another thing. I said in a video, three or four videos back, that you heard it first, that there was a Mexican restaurant that was going next door. You heard it first. I don't think they're moving in now. You know what I like there? You know it'd be really good? Good old Southern country food. Like comfort food. Boy, I tell you what. Mmm, that sounds good. I know there's a number of those around Jasper, but this one would be next door. It'd be easy to... So... Yeah, I'm still rocking the uh, glasses in this. Eye appointment? Anyone? Anyone? Oh, man. Tommy, if you're watching this video, I wish I would have videotaped you, you and I just chatting. Uh, it was awesome seeing you again here at the store, and thanks for bringing the group. Uh, everyone was wonderful and nice, and they all bought something, which really put a smile on my face. <laughs> no, but seriously, it was awesome. I love talking about the 80s, 70s, and all that good stuff. Um, Tommy, next time you're around, I'm going to get you on camera and chat. Tommy was our very first customer when we had our grand opening. He was at the door and uh, got kind of a little funny story. So, Tommy, next time you come in, I'm going to put you on camera, man. Thanks again for everything.